find it. Um, but that's just, just going out there and uh, finding things. On my particular metal detector, I can hunt uh, either gold or um, treasure, which to me would be rings, wa uh, watches, uh, items other than gold nugget. I use eBay to make a little profit. Uh, if, if it's not something I can use, for, for example, the many pairs of sunglasses that I found. Since uh, these kids are down here, they have real fancy ones, and some of them can go for as much as $75, $80 on eBay because they're maybe $150 sunglasses. I found three gold nuggets, small gold nuggets, uh, and they're on the gold claims here in Havasu. There's a gold seekers group, and the three that I have found were in that claim. And this is my gold, which you can't really see very well in the jar, but I know it's there and I can hear it and I can see it. And uh, I'm hoping that that's going to get to be a lot more as I search for more and more. Here in Arizona, we have some areas where meteorites have hit. So if you're interested in meteorites, and I love science fiction and in the outer space, I went to a place called Gold Basin where they where meteorites have, um, have fallen, and I did find one. And you get the same kind of a signal as if you find gold. I found a gold chain, 14 karat gold chain, and I actually wear it occasionally too. This was one of the items I found snorkeling, which I thought was rather interesting. It took me a little while to figure out what it was, and I, it's a sterling silver piece, and I believe it's for a scarf or a bathing suit skirt. And um, it's just a nice hunk of silver that I might actually even melt down and turn into a piece of jewelry, since I take lapidary. This is from Tiffany's, which is probably the only item I'll ever uh, own from Tiffany's, but um, I did try and find the owner of this because there is a name on the other side. And if you recognize this bracelet and lost it and can tell me your, the name on the other side, you may get it back. But I found this at about, um, oh, it was probably about three or four inches down, if that deep. This was on after a, after a busy holiday. When we return, Jerry will share why she's so lucky with her treasure hunting finds. Lake Havasu City is a fairly young community. In the 1800s, gold miners hunted the hills. And in 1930, Parker Dam was built on this section of the Colorado River, providing a beautiful area for recreation. But it wasn't until 1971 that Robert McCullough bought the London Bridge from the City of London. The bridge was dismantled and shipped thousands of miles to the arid desert location along the Colorado River. Once the bridge was rebuilt, it attracted tourists from around the country. Since then, the area has become a very popular destination for boating and having fun in the sun. It's here that Jerry Markinson takes advantage of this tourism traffic to hunt treasure. On weekends during the summer, people come down in their boats. They'll pull up, especially on the three-day weekends, they'll pull up uh, a lot of the kids, college kids, will come up in daddy's boats, the expensive boats, and they're maybe wearing their expensive sunglasses and jewelry, and they tend to lose things like that. And so I'll follow up the next day after they've all left, or maybe sometimes in the evenings, and uh, try and find some of that, some of those things. And if it's uh, not something that I return to the people, because if it's a valuable item, I'll check the local paper for a day or two. Um, and if not, I might just put it up on eBay. Well, here I am on the beach of Lake Havasu City, and it's a very busy Memorial Day weekend. This is one of the busiest holidays of the year here. And uh, I'm getting a little bit of head start doing some metal detecting, looking for things. Usually uh, kids come down here with daddy's boat and they tend to lose a lot of things, so doing my best to pick some of that up. We got a little signal here. Nope, still there. Sometimes I'm digging and I'm picking up things from older, older uh, parties, here it is. I just a penny. After being in this hobby just a short time, Jerry has been very lucky in her finds. My gold hunting and treasure hunting, I've been pretty lucky. Uh, in the two years that I've been doing it, uh, I've found three small nuggets on those claims that some people have been searching there for three, four, maybe five years as far as I know, and they haven't found anything. 
So that's call that luck, I suppose. Uh, finding down um, in by the beaches, finding jewelry, watches, and things. Again, maybe it's luck. Uh, maybe I just put my metal detector in the right spot at the right time. I am lucky at the casinos sometimes. Since I moved out here, I started going up to the casinos, and within a six-month period, I won two cars. I don't think one has to do with the other. I think it's just a matter of sticking to it. The more you do it, the more you're going to find. I say you live right, and you get treated right, so maybe that has something to do with it, too. Even though Jerry has found a lot over the last couple of years, she still has big goals. And the ultimate find would be a large gold nugget um, or a pack of old money, <laughs> old coins, old gold coins. Um, something very old would be just, any of those would be wonderful. I think I'll be doing this for a very long time. Uh, there is no reason at all for me to stop. It's just, it's, it's a very inexpensive hobby. Once you have your metal detector or your equipment, you can update it, but it's, I don't think it's necessary because I'm finding things with what I have. So I plan on doing this as long as I can move around. Thank you for watching this edition of Treasure Hunting America. Join us next time for more stories of people looking for hidden treasure all over the country. I'm your host, Mark Hendricks, and until next time, happy hunting. Treasure Hunting America is sponsored by White's Electronics, manufacturers of the world's finest metal detectors. For over 50 years, White's has been building metal detectors in the USA for treasure hunters around the world. For more information, visit their website or call the number on your screen.